Hello, my name is Holly Gosnell. I'm a virtual production technical artist. Welcome to this tutorial for using Glassbox Technologies Dragonfly virtual camera tool with Take Recorder in Unreal Engine. If you have downloaded the sample project, we are currently looking at DF Take Recorder level. This is an office environment and I have a scanned person, Carla, in the centre of the main atrium. For this tutorial, Carla is going to be driven by pre-recorded motion capture. However, the process in Take Recorder is the same for recording live motion capture. If you would like more information on streaming live motion capture data into Unreal Engine, please refer to the Unreal Engine documentation, specifically pages on the LiveLink plugin. Take Recorder is Unreal Engine's tool for recording motion capture. Recordings can be made with multiple actors and cameras at the same time. Dragonfly cameras can be used with Take Recorder, meaning you can record live motion capture and a Dragonfly camera simultaneously. To use Take Recorder, you need to first ensure the plugin is active in your project. This is done in Edit, Plugins, and then searching for Take Recorder. If Take Recorder is not currently enabled in your project, Unreal Engine will require a restart. After restart, Take Recorder can be found in Window, Cinematics, and Take Recorder. Here in the Take Recorder window, you may want to start by first setting up your tape numbering and settings. Further settings can be accessed using this icon. One of the default settings I like to disable is here at the bottom, the countdown. This feature gives you a three, two, one countdown to starting recording once you have pressed the record button. So to disable it, I change the three seconds to zero. Another option you have within Take Recorder is to record each source as a subsequence. So here at the top, record sources into subsequences. I have two examples to show you what this would look like with the option disabled or enabled. Here is an example with it disabled. As you can see, both the character and the camera animation has been recorded into the master sequence. Here is an example with the subsequence recording enabled. Each source is a subscene track inside the master level sequence. And so they have a separate level sequence which their animation is contained in. This is the one for the camera. And this is the one for Carla.
With Subsequence Recording, you can easily add more cameras by using the recorded motion capture level sequence as the master sequence in Dragonfly. Subscenes are also useful in collaboration, for example, if an artist will be working on the animation in post. For this tutorial, I am going to disable Subsequence Recording. So now to set up our virtual camera, um, we follow the usual Dragonfly workflow. So I'm going to set up, starting, and I'm connecting with my iPhone. If we go into the Dragonfly viewport, and now we can adjust our camera settings as per the usual Dragonfly workflow. So I can change my lens. I can set up my focus method, which I'm going to be tracking Carla. It's worth noting that when recording a Dragonfly camera with Take Recorder, the Review section of the Dragonfly window is not part of the workflow. This means that the built-in smoothing options of Dragonfly are not used. Now that we're happy with our settings, we need to add the actors we want to record to Take Recorder. This can be done by using the plus source button here, And we can also drag and drop from the world outliner. Each actor you add in Take Recorder has its own set of settings here. The Dragonfly camera used with Take Recorder is spawned when we enter game mode. Uh, so we need to hit play first. And then this Dragonfly camera actor, we can drag and drop into Take Recorder, and then we can go for one. So I'm going to stop this now and I'm going to exit, I'm going to exit game mode. Something to note here is that when we exited game mode, the connection to the uh, Dragonfly camera uh, was lost. So as a little note, if you're going in and out of game mode, you will need to reconnect this by adding it again once you go back into play mode. To review the take we just recorded in Sequencer, we can use this review last recording button. Please note that these takes are automatically locked after recording, so need to be unlocked to make any changes. Also, as Carla is currently a possessable actor contained within the level, we need to hide her when we play back, as within the take we just recorded, there will be another instance of Carla as a spawnable actor. To go back to uh, record another take, um, you need to use this icon again and turn Possessable Carla back on. By default, all recordings are saved in cinematics in a new folder we have here called Takes.
In review, we recorded camera motion and a dragonfly camera simultaneously using Unreal Engine's take recorder. Once we had decided on our settings, we added the motion-driven character to take recorder, entered game mode, added the spawned dragonfly camera, and then hit record. When recording was done, we looked at how we can review our takes with Sequencer.